another day another video so this one shows the shadow uh, cascade visualization and I'll explain what the colors are uh, red means that it's using the first cascade green the second cascade cascade blue means the third cascade and there should oh yeah and yellow is the fourth one way in the back so for generating the shadows you'll get the most detail on the red red um, color because that's the first cascade and then it'll progressively get lower in resolution and detail as you get farther away now what I don't like about this uh, method of selecting the cascades is that if you move the camera see how the colors are changing that's because I'm just comparing against the the split plane and the split plane is in view space so it moves with the camera that's why you get that change and I don't really like that it's probably not going to be noticeable in the game but I just want to avoid that it if I can and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a spherical uh, selection for the cascades so it'll be using spheres in view space that way when I rotate it won't matter because it's it's a sphere and you won't notice that it's uh, that it's changing because what you'll probably see the shadows changing in detail as you as you move like this it might be slight and you may not notice it but why take the chance the only thing is it'll probably be a little bit slower to uh, select the proper cascade since I'm using a sphere uh, with a plane it was pretty easy I didn't I could do it with uh, some little tricks and I didn't even have to do any branching so that was pretty good but I think I can do a little bit better and I can sacrifice a little speed for better quality so that's pretty much what I have to show as you can see the colors update dynamically so as I'm getting closer it switches to red to show a more detailed shadow map and as I get farther away you can see the blue coming in here and eventually it'll turn yellow yeah so there it's yellow so that'll use a less detailed shadow map so essentially how it works is it uses the most detailed shadow map for items or parts of the scene that are closest to you and then it progressively gets less detailed the further away the scene is from the camera I just want to get rid of the changes that happen when you rotate the camera like I'm showing now so hopefully I'll show the fixes tomorrow and uh, I'll explain what I did thanks and bye